This is Eleanor Hines with Resources, and I'm here again with John Gunther from the Department of Ecology. We are standing on the northwest corner of Boulevard Park. If you have been a frequent visitor of the park, you will recognize that there have been a lot of changes to this area. We are now going to discuss these past changes and to learn what to expect in the future. Can you give us an overview of what cleanup activities have already taken place around the old dock and marine shoreline area and why it is necessary to do these interim actions? The rock revetment you see here along the shoreline is the interim action that was constructed in 2017 and 2018 to prevent potentially contaminated soil from being eroded during winter storms and entering the bay. The old pier and some piles were also removed at that time. The shoreline revetment for the final cleanup will be engineered and designed and the rock that is currently along the shoreline will be modified as necessary to construct the final cleanup action. Thank you, John. Looking out into the bay, can you give us an idea of how the contamination that is located in the marine sediment will be cleaned up? The selected cleanup action for the marine sediment portion of the site consists of monitored natural recovery enhanced natural recovery, amended sand cap, and conventional sand cap. Monitored natural recovery will be used furthest out in the bay where the sedimentation rate, or what we call natural recovery in the cleanup world, has been studied and determined effective and will be protective for that part of the sediment site. A little closer in towards shore, we will use enhanced natural recovery where we will place clean sand or whatever size material is determined appropriate on top of the naturally recovering sediment in order to enhance the rate of natural recovery. Closer in near shore, we will use either an amended or conventional sand cap, depending on the contaminant concentrations present at a specific location. There are various types of amendments that can be used with sand caps, and the most effective amendment type will be evaluated and selected during the engineering design of the cleanup. Thank you, John. Can you tell us if there are eelgrass beds that could be impacted by the cleanup action plan and what the plans are to ensure that this critical habitat are accounted for? Sure, I think I spoke to this before. Uh, this area has already been surveyed. We know of significant eelgrass beds and important substrate present within the sediment site boundary. Our biologists will work closely with the appropriate resource agencies to determine adequate and effective mitigation for unavoidable impacts to these resources. Thanks again. Um, will these shorelines look after the cleanup has been done? Probably at this time, we still don't have a design or engineered plans for the shoreline revetment. We are working with a coastal engineering firm who will help design the new shoreline. Thanks. I wonder if you could tell me what factors or precautionary measures are considered when designing a cleanup plan where seismic activities could occur. Cleanup construction projects are subject to the same building codes and design standards as other development projects. These codes and standards are provided by the permitting authorities. The engineered design for the selected cleanup action will be evaluated for and include provisions for seismic risk. Thank you so much for taking the time to answer all of our questions about the South State Street Manufactured Gas Plant Draft Cleanup Action Plan and helping us all better understand the plan for this site. Our next stop will be to learn about the past and present park usage.